drop this. Yuri guys, it's Game Boy Luke here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Glazed and Nuzlocke. In the previous episode, we made it here to Trainer Isle um, after visiting Stormy something, Stormy City. It's I'm pretty sure it's, it's, it's definitely Stormy City. We saw it Stormy City. It's always raining here. Um, in between episodes, I did grind my team up uh, like I told you guys I would. We have Brobat over here, level 39, Naughty Nature. Um, with Wing Attack, Confuse Ray, Astonishing Bite. We have Gex the Grover, who I've leveled up to level 35 because I wanted him to evolve on screen. Hopefully, we should have two evolutions today because I'm pretty sure Golbat is at max happiness, especially after all the training I gave him, all the potions I gave him, uh, all the, um, what is it, the EV boosting items I gave him. Like, he, he's got to be there by now. Uh, Grover has Leaf Blade, Fury Cutter, Fury, uh, Push, Jesus, Crack and Speak, Pursuit, and Quick Attack. We have Avoyance, the Lucario with Earthquake, Sword Stance, and it finally learned a decent fighting type move being Aura Sphere, which is awesome. We have a fourth gen move in a third gen uh, ROM hack, which is absolutely amazing. And Aura Sphere just kicks ass, it's so good. Uh, and Leaf Blade as well. We have Magnazone over here, a Copper on Magnazone with Thunderbolt, Tackle, Thunder Wave, and Spark. We also have Squee, our Azumar with Bull Beam, Defense Cult, Rollout, and Strength. And then we have the little Eevee who's still chilling over here. You guys, I think, if I go back to the comment section, everyone was like, Wow, that was a mixed, bunch of mixed opinions, but there were a bunch of people that were like, Yo, go with Flareon! And I'm just like, no, don't, don't want to do that. Um, Espeon is a thing. People were saying Umbreon, because I needed some bulk to the team. Now, I'm all, I'm down for Umbreon. But whenever I've used Umbreon in like a casual Let's Play or in a Nuzlocke, it just doesn't, it just doesn't perform. It's just not, it's not a fun Pokemon to use in a casual Let's Play. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Umbreon. He's great. And he would be useful because he's bulky, but at the same time, he doesn't really do much. Like, I can sit there and Toxic Stall people. I could maybe use a couple Dark moves here and there, but he's, he's really not that good. It'll probably save me in a couple of instances, but I don't think he'd be very fun to use. Um, so the question still stands, do we want to use uh, Espeon or not? Um, we don't have a Psychic type on our team, and it would cover a couple of weaknesses. I probably, I feel like, I feel like Espeon is the option. Um, and what, what's even cooler is I completed the Lighthouse Challenge and the Grinding Montage and they gave me another Eevee. So it's like, I have, an, I have a second one, so I evolve this one into something you guys don't like and we lose a team member down the line, we can still jump into that box uh, and pick up the other Eevee that we got, because it's still a gift Pokemon, we take as many gift Pokemon as we can and we can then evolve that. Say for example, if Copper dies, we can do Dojolteon, if um, Squee dies, we can do Vaporeon, if Gex dies, we can do Leafeon. And there was also the option of um, Glaceon as well, and I'm, I like Glaceon, don't get me wrong once again, but it's another fighting type weakness, and we already have two of those, so it's like, I kind of, I kind of feel like Espeon would be a good choice. I, yeah, if you have Umbreon, it's another fighting type weakness, so, um, alright, we're gonna start this episode off by, let's, let's see which of the Pokemon, which out of Gex and Golbat has the least experience to the next level. He has 16, and you have 877, so Gex is going to be easier to uh, level up right here. Let's go ahead and pop this rare candy because I want to evolve Golbat. Yes! Here it is. The man is here. Let's go, Golbat. Evolve. Evolve! Look at Crobat! Ah! Yes, I love Crobat so much. Yes. Your Brobat evolved into a Crobat. 
check him out. Let's check those mean stats right real quick. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yo, so we have the 95 attack, uh, 73 special attack. So his special attack is not bad. Like, if we get Sludge Bomb or something, that's perfect. Um, that's actually, I'm honestly happy with this. The only issue I'm, I'm seeing with uh, Groval right now is Leaf Blade's a physical move. So we need to get our hands on, like, Giga Drain or something. Uh, if, if at all possible. But let's go ahead and put um, Gex in the front of Pi because he's going to level up real soon, like. And we have this gym to do, right? Which is the hardworking garden, which is the grass type gym. So basically Brobat is gonna come in and save our asses. One thing we do need to do, and it's one thing I'm very proud of doing, I guess, is picking up all of these protein and carbos because right now we don't have a lot of money. Say goodbye to that. All I have to do is just go grind in that place and get a bunch of meds and sell them off. And I get so much money for it, it's great. I can buy 60 super potions. We've never had that many super potions ever. We buy 67 great balls. I'm buying 20 of these bad boys. We have money right now. It's great. Let's just buy. Is if he's a gardener, he's gonna poison us. He's gonna paralyze us. He's gonna do all kinds of shenanigans. Let's just stock up on all of what we need right here. Boop. And I guess we could pick up some super repels. So we have. Let's get, let's get 10 of those. And we still have money left over. It's, this is a great feeling. This is a great feeling. We're finally balling out in this game. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let us head into the gym. You guys are warning me about this. You want me to know how, how bad this giant gym is or how hard it is. Um, and granted, we don't have a lot to deal with when it comes to grass types. Um, we do have Avoyance who resists grass type moves. Copper resists grass type moves, although he can't do a great deal against them. Robot has super effective against them. And Gex, I'm just going to do the switch training just to see if I can. Um, yo, should we, should we evolve him first? Actually, I think we should just run into a cave. And just evolve him first because obviously he has more special, he'll have more special defense, HP, etc., etc. Which just it's just safer to go in on, I guess. So let's just head into. Hold on. Let's head into the cave that's up here. Or we can just do it in the grass, actually. Fuck it. We just speed up. Because I wanna, I want to level you up very quickly, my friend. Oh wow, that you are twenty freaking thirteen levels lower than me, and I'm struggling to kill you. That's not a good sign. I'm getting absolutely no experience with killing you either. Buizel! Oh, I can do a Buizel. Dead. 200. Give me more Buizels. Buizels are easy to kill. Uh, one more to kill. One more Buizel. Thank you. There it is. Gex. No evolve. Yas. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Get all these evolutions out. <coughs> Excuse me. What we need to do now is find special uh, grass type moves for this Abdal, and the squad is looking. There it is. Look at Sceptile. Bruh! He looks so good! Let me see. Let me see what those stats are looking like, boy. Yeah, so his physical attack doesn't look that great. It's special attack mainly. Um, I mean, his, his physical attack's not that bad, but his special attack is much better. It's much, much, much better. So we need to get our hands on some special grass type moves. I don't even know what's in this game in terms of special grass type moves. We have Giga Drain, but there's no Energy Ball. Uh, I guess there's Frenzy Plant, but like I have no idea where we'd even begin to find that in this game. Whew, all right, let me, let me, let me just switch this up. Just so we don't have to leave. I have to do any switch training with you. Let's just get Brobat out in the field right from the get-go and see what grass type Pokemon we're dealing with here. I'm actually kind of nervous. You guys have been, like I said, you guys have been putting this gym leader on blast for me and telling me how strong he is. And it's definitely, it definitely makes me a little nervous. So let's see. Do we have any hold items we can give anybody? Our oh, boost stats. Nope. Oh, hold up. We haven't even thought about... Yo, let's teach... Let's teach Gex Earthquake. Let me teach Gex Earthquake real quick. Um, heal fast as shit. Do we need quick attack? Do we, no, I don't think we need quick attack. I don't think we need that. Let's just get rid of um, that for Earthquake. Just to get some coverage. If we see a fire type Pokemon, we have something to deal with it. Um, Thunderbolt. I don't think anyone can learn Thunderbolt. We've taught everyone Thunderbolt and I can learn Thunderbolt, right? Yeah. And then Rain Dance. They're not that great. Dragon Claw. Can you say I to learn Dragon Claw in this game? He can learn Dragon Claw, so that's more type matchups right there. Uh, it would be good if it was special, actually, but... Say la vie. Say la vie. If Dragon Pulse was in this game, that'd be even better. I'll take the physical moves. It's fine. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. Let's do this. 
Hey, I, wait, I challenge you. My name is Leaf. Leaf? That must be Leaf. Do you like my garden? I spend... I spend... I spent many hours pruning and sculpting everything here, but I wouldn't say no to a gym battle. Let's go. I'm scared. To say the least. How many Pokemon do you have? Four. You have a Jump Luff, level 34. Yo, that's easy! Brobat, eat him up. Show him what we do here. Oh my god, we almost killed him in one hit. Sunny day? Oh shit, he just chlorophyll boosted himself. Yo, his whole team is gonna outspeed me now. Leftovers. That's fine, you can hide potion. That's actually okay, because if we can get a crit or maybe a max roll, we might be able to kill this thing in one hit. And I'd rather you burn your hive potions now rather than later. Okay, so we got a little more than, uh, a smaller roll than before. And we're burning turns of uh, Sunny Day, so that works too. Alright, fuck your leftovers, no one cares. Lead Seed, miss! Ah! They get, in the words of Shady Penguin, they call me Mr. Dodge. Oh my god. I was, I, when we hung out, when we hung out at his wedding, him and Brandon and Nips would say that all the fucking time. Oh my goodness, Venusaur, bruh. We're not playing. Level 35 Venusaur. That's, that hacks. Hacks. You can't evolve you know, Ivysaur to level 36. Cheater. Whatever, man. Ruba is putting the way. Sword stats. Venusaur gets sword. Why would I am? Why am I not made aware of this? Since when can Venusaur get sword stance? This whole team has leftovers. Goodbye. No, 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 no. No sword stance here. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Venusaur. Do not appreciate at all. Next is Leafeon. So he has a Leafeon. I can just stay in and just keep battering him, can't I? Really? Now, I know Leafeon gets sword stance. But we quad resist all these grass type Pokemon. You guys told me this, this gym was really hard and that I should grind for it. Like, I feel like I over leveled myself. This, yo, they don't play around. They do their utmost hardest to set up on you. Leftovers again? Whole team has leftovers. Crobat, Brobat doesn't care. He's just gonna wing attack your whole team. It's not, no problems here, dude. No problems here. Next, Tangrowth. Okay, so we might struggle a little bit here because Tangrowth, Tangrowth has really good physical defense. And it's probably got ancient power. I think we can take one though because it's not stab. Yeah, so one does about half. God damn. Slate powder. There it is. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't know if I want to play around with sleep. Let's just wake ourselves up with the um, awakening. And then we can do some switcheroos. Let's see here. Because in all honesty, I would have been screwed if I didn't have, if, I didn't have Probat. Like, if they put me to sleep to begin with and switched out and started setting up on me, then we would have had some pro we would have had some issues then. There's a leech scene. So that's this whole team. Like, Tangrowth and, what was it, the, the um, Jump Bluff? They try, to, they try to knock you out, like, sleep-wise, and then start crying, because they have the leftovers and the Leech Seed, like, it, it just stacks. Like, I can hear with a Wing Attack here, but by the time he gets leftovers and Leech Seed, he's back at half. He tried to put me to sleep again. Okay, he missed. He missed! So I can de okay, I can definitely see how this gym would be tricky. Now, I was very lucky and fortunate that they missed the Leech Seed and they missed the Sleep Powder. But, if this afterwards doesn't take him over half, we should be able to- Yep, we've won. Look at that! No problems. No issues whatsoever. And we get the crit, just to seal the deal. Just to add insult to injury. Barbity Boopy. Look at Crobat coming through. That's our boy right there. That's our boy right there. I know how to take defeat graciously. You are fair and square. You've earned the stem badge. Congrats! Yeet! We got the stand bad. You get, yo, give me like, give me, give me, give me Giga Beam. That's Solar Beam. That's Solar Beam. Usually takes two turns, but will activate instantly in the sunlight. I recommend you try it for the Ice Cool Badge next in North. An ice Cool Badge? Yo, Lucario is gonna destroy him. You know what I want to do? Because we don't have any special moves for for Septile. I want to teach him Sunny Day and Solar Beam. The only problem is we have a water type on our team, so it could backfire. My cell phone is ringing. 
Hmm, hello, Luke. I'm kind of in a tight spot right now. I found Team Fusion and their bosses here. Can you come to Mount Stranders and, and lend a hand? I don't know if I can take all these grunts by myself. And you've proven yourself more than capable. Please, hurry. Alright, so let's go to Mount Stratus now. So we can't go get the badge just yet. The other- wait, where's my badge? Do I only have the fourth badge now? That's so weird, I don't like it. My- I, I hate that you stole my badges. You did you stole my badges. It just means I can't use like rock smash and shit. Yo, so get this. <laughs> I wanted to test if I could walk back to the other city. Apparently I'm stupid. You don't have to rock smash that rock. You could just walk straight past it. I'm an idiot. Feel free to call me an idiot in the chat. Just, Luke, you are an idiot. Feel free. I give you permission to do so. Just kill me. Roast me. That rock up there, you can just walk around it. I'm done. Because we're in Mount Stratus right now. Hold on. So let's get let's get Gex up in front. Gex needs some screen time right now. In his new evolved form. Is it up here? Nope. God damn it. Wild encounter. Abra! Yo! I'm not gonna lie, I would have appreciated an Abra and let's just, just throw it. Look, whoop, whoop, walked around it. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Alright, let's head this way. Alright, Mount Stratus. So I guess we have to head back into Mount Stratus anyways. Hey, what's up? The format is missing, what will we do? I'm coming! Hey, I'm missing my I did buy super repels. I did prepare for this moment. Hey, what's going on? Hello? Anyone here? Oh, we can use strength now. Do I have the HM for it? I already- yeah, I talked to a zoom rail, didn't I? Never mind. Ignore me. How do I not remember that? TNT, can I push it? Nope. Alright, so we have- we had to come through here anyways. Fuck. Shit. I got rid of Rock Smash. Um... God damn it. I have to walk back and go- I'm not teaching it to someone. Ah, Luke, why? Why are you such a donut? I'm a donut. I'm not actually a donut. I could have taken this opportunity. Oh wait, no, I'm good. We're in, we're in, we're in the city. It's not gonna take me two seconds to switch out Eevee. We still need to decide what we want to do with Eevee as well anyway, so. All right, someone's PC, move Pokemon. Let's get Rattata back on the team. I'm pretty sure he was the one that had Rock Smash. So as you can see, wait. The event didn't work, it didn't give me another Eevee. Oh, oh, shit. It, it said it gave me one, maybe it's limited to one. Modest nature, we have Rock Smash, right? Okay. This is our little HM slave over here, so... We have a Ditto. Just realize, if we get the chance to find the breeding area, we can just... create our own Eevees. <laughs> the plot begins. Okay. Let's get this Repel back out. And let's further explore Mount Stratus, because I want to know what's, what's in here. And I wanted to do this before I asked you guys. And a lot of you guys didn't reply, which I thought was really weird. So I guess you kind of knew already that we had to come back to Mount Stratus anyways. You're a bunch of, you're a bunch of sneaky little shit, so I'll, I'll say that now. It's a rugged rogue. Oh, but I can't use Rock Smash anyways. So I don't have the badge. I'm a donut. I'm actually a donut. I'm actually a donut. So I can't even... I can't even go down here to get this item. Man, this su- Oh god, they're here. They're everywhere. Don't mess with us. I've messed with you several times and I've never regretted it, my friend. Team Fusion Ground, Hitmonlee. Level- level 32. Alright, now Gex is very frail. I will say that now, he is extremely, extremely frail. I don't know if I feel- I mean, I know I'm- Four levels higher, but a high jump kick. Can I take that? Come on, Gex, don't let me down. Physical moves are better against the Hitmon Lees, anyways, and the Hitmon Chance. High jump kick. Oh god, I don't want to watch. I can't watch. Oh wow, we we actually took that. Never mind. That's fine. So we have two potions. We have money, so it doesn't matter. We should be good. We should like break even at the very least if we get money from these guys. Uh, Hitmon Chance, switch out because he might have Ice Punch. I don't want to do a Ice Punch right now. What do my Pokemon a week to this thing? Jesus Christ. Uh, let's go to Squee. Squee! I want Waterfall. Really, really bad. It would be perfect. And I found out- Wait, did I- Did was that in the last episode where we found out that Playrough is a thing? So Playrough is in this game. If you had Playrough on your boy, Squee, it is GG. Hashtag bars. Hashtag bars. We're gonna make it happen. 
gonna make it happen. I really want to run Vaporeon. I want two water types. Because so I'm just thinking about Surf, because I know we're gonna need Surf at some point. And Squee is not gonna appreciate having Surf. Get him on top. Okay, well, fucking shit. Robat knows what he's doing. Oh, no way. It's gonna have, it's gonna have Intimidate. It's gonna have Intimidate. Gosh darn it. Gosh diggity darn it. But him on top can't do much to him. Oh wow. Okay, cool. It's fine. Just get crits. Fine. Whatever. Oh god. Don't quick attack me. How to play Pokemon 101. With your boy Game Boy Luke. Ah, dead. Alright. What's happening here is none of your business. I am fully aware. I'm gonna inter interject anyways. Where are the super potions? Up top. Huh. You get a heal. And you get a heal. Everyone is over leveled right now. I'm so sorry. I feel like it's necessary for this game though, because you never know what they're gonna throw at you. It's like a Dreano ROM hat. Gallade? Excuse me. Excuse me, Mr. Gallade. I'm pretty sure you don't get any students super fed against me, so I'm just gonna have to show you the door. Do half. Ugh. Oh, Fury Cutter. Oh, Fury Cutter. Yeah, I'm out. I am. I don't know what to do. Fury Cutter is not super effective against any of these Pokemon, but it has a move that's probably super effective. Elite Leaf Blade, Fighting Type Move, Fighting Type Move, Psychic Type Move. I think the safest option is maybe Lucario. So I feel like I can kill with an Earthquake. So let's just do that. Slash, okay. Safe! We're safe. I can Earthquake you. Goodbye. Jesus Christ, Gallade's scary. Even though he's like that many levels lower. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for saving us, Lucario. Base Lucario. Gally, you get out of my face with that shit. <laughs> Super potions! Once again! We're still getting money as well, which is good. Whoop! There's so many team members! Ah. What do you have? What do you have for us, friendo? Scrafty? Uh, what do I have? I have Gex. Uh... I feel like this isn't gonna do half, because Scrafty's kind of bulky. Yeah, he's not low kick me. That's not gonna do anything. Let's just let's just go into let's just go into Robert. Oh, Gex, you're so weak. Mm. Septile, I wish you were better. I wish you were better. Yeah, it really upsets me how weak you are. We need better moves. Apply Scrafty. It'll come in handy if I like Grass type, uh, Water type Pokemon and Rock type Pokemon though. That's for sure. It's pretty much for the type coverage, in all honesty. J There's a Darkrai and a Zorok down there. What in the world is going on down there? There's a Darkrai and a Zorok ready to clash. Are you really using Focus Punch right now? Are you actually trying to pull off Focus Punch right now? I'm gonna zoom real. You don't think I'm gonna go for a water type move right here? Dummy. Lost his focus and couldn't move. That's what you get, bro. He's trying to- he's, he's persistent! He is persistent! Skid out on out of here. Goodbye. And Monferno. Okay, we'll just, we, we may as well stay in if you just want to throw these fire types at me. I love how there are Gen 4 Pokemon in this game. Well, Gen, there's Gen 5 Pokemon in this game for that matter, actually. It's just like, you just, you just like see the Pokemon, you're like, wait, this is on the GBA. Why are there 4th Gen Pokemon here? It's on the DS. It's just, it's just a nice, pleasant surprise to have. Whoop! Level 40. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And last but not least, a Pig Knight. Once again, did we play Pig? I don't, remember, I don't even remember fighting Pig Knight before. 
I don't even remember facing Pignut before. We probably have. I'm just being an idiot. But like, it's a fifth gen Pokemon in a fourth gen game. Its sprite's been condensed and it's been. It just looked and it looks kind of lame. Hashtag bars. Um, 1,000 experience. I'll take it. I think we're actually gonna have to end this episode off right here. I don't want to trigger any event by walking forward right here. But there's a in the corner of your screen. There is a Darkrai. Blake has a Darkrai. Blake has a dark right, and that guy has a Zoroark. We already we already knew about the Zoroark, but they're facing off right now. That's crazy. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna end this episode off right here, guys. If you have enjoyed, please do leave a like rating down below. It's greatly appreciated. And it makes you an awesome person. Thank you so much for checking out the video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for more glaze. Wait, no, I won't see you tomorrow for more glaze. So we're not uploading this on Saturdays. But I'll see you on Monday for more glaze, where we will be uh, checking out the dark right and the Zoroark and seeing what they are doing and what Blake is. See if Blake is destroying this guy. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching once more. I'll see you guys next time.